What's up guys, Chase here with another tutorial and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to fix no sound and audio on Windows 10. The first thing we're going to want to check is to make sure that our volume is at the right level. So down here I can see that my speakers are running at 36%. Now this number is great but if you're not hearing anything obviously you're going to want to make sure to turn this up and it will give you a nice little ding to verify that it's on. If you don't hear the ding here, the other issue may be that it's coming out of the wrong source. So this little button up here, you'll see it's coming out of the speakers, which is the Realtek audio driver. Now, if this is not the right version or the driver that your audio should be coming out of, it may be coming out of one of your monitors. So Windows will automatically detect a audio source, but sometimes monitors that don't have speakers will take over this audio playback. So make sure that the speakers are enabled or whatever HD audio driver you may have connected to your PC. In my case, the speakers with the Realtek audio is the correct one. So I'm gonna select that. If for some reason you are not experiencing any sound after making this change, we'll click out of that and let's go ahead and right click the speaker button and we're gonna go ahead and open up the volume mixer. Now the volume mixer is going to verify the audio levels from each of the independent sources. So I have a lot of different sources over here. Speakers and system sounds are the ones that you would like to have at a reasonable volume. Again, when you click, it will make a chiming noise to verify the level. And if you don't hear that, just make sure again that the audio device is not one of the monitors that does not have speakers. So again, I'm going to select my speakers and we can go ahead and close out of this. Now the final step, if your audio is still not working, I know you're aware, but make sure that your speakers are plugged in and turned on. I can't tell you how many times I've tried to fiddle with something and it was not on. But the last version of what we can try to fix in a software issue, let's go ahead and right click and open the sound settings. Now if for some reason, it is still not working. We do have this troubleshoot button here and Microsoft will try to identify the problem on its own. So you can allow in this window here, you can allow Windows to scan your computer for hardware changes and also PC audio. So let's go ahead and click yes and it's gonna go ahead and scan the device. In this test, Windows is going to supply a signal into your speakers or your headphones, and it's gonna ask you if you heard the beep that just played. So I did hear this, so I'm gonna click yes, um, and that means we don't have any other issues. So if we selected no, it's going to try to troubleshoot this in a different way. If you run through these prompts here, Windows will try to find the best solution to fix your audio issues. So that is how you fix no sound or audio on Windows 10.